the volatility premium very simply says options tend to be overpriced. So the implied volatility from the market, the market price of the options, tends to be higher than it should be. Or usually, if you sell options, you will make money. Usually does not mean always. Uh, and there will be periods of years, perhaps, where it's not true. But this is equivalent almost to the fact that stocks goes, go up. We've known about this as long as we've known about options. There's a book written in 1905 that mentions this particular thing. So if you ever get to a point where someone says the volatility premium has gone away forever, almost certainly not true. If you give me a, if you've got something that has been true for a hundred years and it's not true for two years, that doesn't mean a great deal. And there are very, very sound reasons why this should be true. Remember, all of the power is with the buyer. So me as a seller, why would I give you that power without demanding an extra premium for it? So it's really the same as with insurance. The insurance holder has the power. They're the ones who can make money. So the insurance company charges you a premium. Options are just financial insurance. So it's natural for the seller to demand this premium. So this is not a mathematical phenomena. We're, quote, we're quantifying it in mathematics, but this is entirely based on human psychology.